you have your Bibles this morning, turn with us to Psalm chapter 100. Psalm 100 is a very familiar passage of Scripture. We'll stand for the reading of the Word of God. Psalm 100. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. Father, we're thankful for the privilege that we have to be together this morning. Thankful that you've assembled us here as we are. Thankful for your presence. Thankful, Lord, for the good songs and music. It makes our mind, directs our mind to eternal things. Lord, I pray that the message this morning would fit our hearts and lives and help us along the journey to live for Jesus, to make heaven our home. Lord, I pray that you'd help us and anoint us this morning, and may your name be honored and glorified among us, and we'll give you the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. You may be seated. I would like to preach to you for a few minutes this morning on the joy of thanksgiving. My, when you read this passage of Scripture in Psalm 100, it is just chock full of joy. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. And over and over, just this, the whole tenor of the psalm is a psalm of joy, a psalm of joy. There is joy in thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is a universal obligation. He says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. The United States of America has particular obligation to give thanks to God. And we are blessed that our nation has recognized a, a holiday that is, uh, really has its roots in the Christian faith. A holiday of thanksgiving. And a holiday that we call Christmas. And right here together, back to back, month, uh, one month after the other, two national holidays rooted in the Christian faith. And this one, Thanksgiving. My, how important it is. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. In fact, Russia, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Zimbabwe, in spite of all the difficulties, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Haiti, in spite of all the disasters, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. The United States of America, showered with the blessings of God, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All ye lands, I'm telling you, brother, God has given us a universal obligation to give thanks unto God. To make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Thanksgiving is essential to worship. And this psalm is a psalm of worship. We are to come before his presence with singing. This is what we've come for this morning. We've come before his presence. Where two or three are gathered together in my name. Jesus said I will be in the midst. I don't know what you set out for this morning. When you come to this place. But I tell you what we should have set out for. We should have come to meet with God. We should have come into the presence of the Lord. We're to come before his presence with singing. There's to be joy in the camp of God's people. We are a thankful people. We come into the presence of God with singing, with joy in our hearts. We know him. We've been blessed by him. So we come into the presence of God with singing. 
Thanksgiving is essential to worship. We enter into his gates with thanksgiving. We come into Jerusalem. They ride into Jerusalem, enter into that eastern gate just outside the temple precincts. But they enter into that eastern gate with thanksgiving. Hallelujah. We enter into his courts with praise and we are thankful unto him and we bless his name. Thanksgiving is an essential part of our worship. So we come into the house of God to meet with God. We come with singing. We come to give thanks unto God. We don't come with long faces. We don't come with sad, sad hearts. We come before God to give glory and honor to Him. Thanksgiving for His blessings upon our life. We come with joyful hearts. We come with singing. This is an essential part of our worship to give thanks to God. Thanksgiving is an atmosphere of joy. You know the devil cannot keep a person down who is always thanking God for his blessings upon their life. Oh my. I got up this morning, I told my wife, I said, I got a headache. Had it ever since yesterday. And I want you to pray for me. But this morning I got up with a headache thanking God for his blessings upon my life. Praising God and honoring God. I tell you, brother, it don't matter what our circumstances are. We've got something to thank God for this morning. We've got blessings upon our life that we need to remember and give God glory and give God thanks in our life. By the way, my headache's gone. Hallelujah. Praise God. I don't know exactly when it left, but it left me some time back. Praise the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, just give thanks to God, brother and sister. The Lord has blessed us. We're part of a great nation that God has poured out his blessings upon. You live in fine homes. You drive fine cars. You have food to eat on your table. You have a church to go to to worship God, to hear the truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ. We've got so much to thank God for this morning. There ought to be joy in our hearts. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We come with joy. Giving thanks to God. Brother, your sorrows can't hang around when you're praising God for the blessings God has given to you in life. The reason we're in the mully grub so much is because we don't give thanks to God for what he's already done in our life. The reason why that the devil stomps on us is because we're not giving thanks to God for what God has done in our life. When we remember the cross of Jesus. You know when our children were growing up we were trying to teach them to pray. You know and there's just little. We tell them what to say. Tell, tell God this. Tell God that. Tell God the other. And they tell. They do what we said. The one thing we taught, taught them to pray. Thank God for Jesus dying for me. Thank God for Jesus dying for me. Hallelujah. Brother, this is something that no matter what the circumstances of life may be, the world can't take this away from us. Nobody can deny the historical fact that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Woo, hallelujah. I'm telling you, brother, if your name is written in the Lamb's book of life, it don't matter what other things are going on in life. Rejoice if your name is written in heaven. Something to praise God about. Something to give thanks to God about. Hallelujah. Your cupboard may be empty. Your bank account may be empty. But if your name is in heaven, rejoice. You're rich. I said you're rich. Hey. God wants us to be a joyful people. Don't focus on your troubles. You've got them. I've got them. Problems, 
Troubles of all kinds. If I focus on them, I'm going to be a depressed individual. But if God will help me to have faith in Him through every trouble, through every trial, if God will help me to remember what God has done for me in the past, and I'll keep on singing, I'll keep on praising, I'll keep on worshiping, I'll keep on giving God glory if I can remember the blessings God has bestowed upon my life. Thanksgiving is an atmosphere of joy. Hallelujah. Oh, it'll turn your sad face into a joyful face. Hallelujah. Into a smiling face when you understand the blessings of the Lord in your life. My. You got any friends? How much would you sell them for and be alone in life? Uh -uh. Worth more than money. Friends. Friends. Friends that God gives to us. Brothers and sisters in Christ that love us, care about us, pray for us. Share our burdens. Share our sorrows. Intercede on our behalf. Encourage us in the Lord. We gather in the name of Jesus with those people who are really our friends. You, you, you heard what I read to you in Sunday school this morning. Friends care about your soul. Friends care about where you're going to spend eternity. Friends care more about just you. you just having a good time and laughing at a joke. Friends care about your soul. Friends care about where you're going to spend eternity. That man's your friend who cares about your soul, who will tell you the truth. That man is your friend. Thank God for friends. Thank God. You know, a lot of times you don't know it. You, You have no idea that there are people miles away from you calling your name in prayer, you would not know it. But somebody is praying for you. Somebody in the body of Christ calling your name in prayer. Somebody interceding on your behalf. Thank God for friends. Thank God for brothers and sisters in Christ. We have a reason to give thanks. Thanksgiving involves the nature of God. You know, some people are thankful for the wrong things. Had a man, you know, preaching to the prisoners. He's thanking God for his third wife. Some people are thanking God for what the devil's done. In their life. There's got to be thankful for the right things. If you're thankful for silver spurs and what is it? Saddle, silver saddle and spurs. You're thankful for the wrong thing. That's a nightclub down the road. We got to be thankful for the right things. And thanksgiving involves the nature of God. Appropriate thanksgiving involves the nature of of God. We thank God. We enter into his gates with thanksgiving, into his courts with praise. We're thankful in him. We bless his name for the Lord is good. You hear me? I said the Lord is good. The reason you don't worship him, if you don't worship him, the reason you don't worship him It's because the devil has convinced you he's not good. The devil said to Job, God knows. In the day you lose all of this, you'll turn against him. In the day that I afflict you, the, the devil said to God, let me touch him. He'll curse you to your face. Skin for skin, yeah, all that a man hath will he give for his life. I'll cause him to curse you to your face. But in all that Job went through, when he lost everything in a moment of time, 
all his possessions, all of his family, fell down before God and worshiped the Lord and said, The Lord gave and the Lord taketh away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Brother, when you are in despair, when your heart is broken, when life has taken a bad turn, and you can lift up your hands to heaven and say, The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Brother, thanksgiving involves the nature of God. The Lord is good. Every good gift, every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of lights with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. The devil comes to kill and to steal and to destroy. But Jesus said, I am come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. Brother, the Lord is good. He is good and his mercy is everlasting. His mercy is everlasting. What is the mercy of God? I'll tell you what it is. Mercy is when you don't get what you deserve. All right? When you get better than what you deserve, that's mercy. And listen, I could say, and you could say this morning, the Lord has been merciful to me. I have gotten better than what I deserve. I don't have no room to complain this morning. I'm telling you, I don't have no room to complain this morning. I have gotten better than what I deserve. God has been merciful to me. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth to all generations. Some of it translated that his faithfulness endureth to all generations. That's, that's a wonderful thought that his faithfulness endures to all generations. That there is no temptation taken you but such as is common to man. But God is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able. But will with the temptation also make a way to escape that you may be able to bear it. God is faithful. But his truth. His truth, the truth that he's deposited in the word of God, the truth that he's deposited in the church of Jesus Christ, that truth endures to all generations. Brother, there's one thing I'm thankful for. I am thankful this morning that God sent me the truth. I have been praising God this week. Thanking God, I was down in the area there, pretty close to where my parents got killed. And I have been thanking God for my mother and my father who taught me about Jesus. I've been thanking God for the church that nourished the truth in my heart and life. Hallelujah. I'm thanking God because God preserved the truth and, and sent it to me so I could be saved. Hallelujah. I'm glad, praise God, that I don't live in darkness. I'm glad, thank God, that I don't have a Muslim iron preaching to me. I'm glad, praise God, that I don't go to a Buddhist temple. I'm thankful God sent me the message about Jesus Christ. I'm glad this morning that the truth endureth to all generations. I'm, I'm glad this morning for the truth about Jesus. Jesus, it's made this nation what it is. It's made your families what it is. It's made us what we are. The gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Oh, I'm happy about it this morning. I say I'm happy about it this morning. Woo, hallelujah. I thank God for the truth this morning. Ah, we've got a reason to be thankful. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It's joyful when your heart is full of thanksgiving. There's a joy in giving thanks to God. Oh, could we go, all of us together, to a third world country, Egypt, 
Haiti, Dominican Republic. Spend some time among people who live in cardboard houses, concrete huts, squalid conditions, unclean conditions. When they get sick, taken to hospitals that they're likely to die in rather than get help in. And we grumble. And we complain. And we murmur. And we're never satisfied. The Bible says, stop it. Don't let there be no murmuring are grumbling, are complaining among you. Stop it. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Oh, we got so much to be thankful for. Let's turn our conversation in this direction. Let's turn our hearts in this direction. Let's start thanking God for how the Lord has blessed our lives. Make this a real Thanksgiving time. And let's let others know how wonderful the Lord has been to us. Boast of the Lord. Extol the Lord. Exalt the holy name of the Lord. I will make my boast in the Lord, said the psalmist. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Come and let us exalt his name together. For the Lord is good, gracious, kind, and merciful. The Lord willing, we're going to take some time to be thankful. Tonight, Wednesday night, we're going to take some time to boast of the Lord. Not to boast in us, but to boast in the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. He's great. Yes, he is. He's greatly yes. to be praised. Yes. Let's stand together. Oh, hallelujah. Lord, our heart is full this morning. Full of joy when we think of God's blessings. Full of joy when we think of what God has done for us, accomplished in us. Oh God, our hearts are full of praise and thanksgiving. We understand how the Lord has showered mercies upon us. The Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. His truth endureth to all generations. God, we give you honor this morning. We understand where our blessings come from. We know that every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. Cometh down from the Father of lights with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning, that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever, the source of all of our blessings. And we give you the praise and the honor and glory for it this morning. I pray that you'd help us, Lord, no matter what our circumstances are, help us to be thankful to God. Help us, Lord, to praise you and honor you, not just on Sunday morning, not just during Thanksgiving season, but may this be an attitude of heart and life that accompanies us all year long. That God produces in us an attitude of thanksgiving unto the Lord. Many of us have gone through severe trials, Lord. Our hearts have been crushed by circumstances of life. People sitting in this service this morning, there's still a tenderness in their heart from the loss of their loved ones, from the pain that they've felt in their souls and the difficulties they've run into in life. Family problems and problems, job problems and all kinds of situations, Lord, right here in this congregation. But I pray, Lord, that you'd focus our mind upon your greatness. Focus our mind on what the good things God has done. 
Focus our minds on the truth of the gospel. Focus our minds on the faithfulness of God. Focus our minds this morning on the fact that the Lord is still on the throne. He rules in the heavens. He hears and answers the prayers of his children. Lord, you have done great things for us whereof we are glad. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness unto the children of men. And I pray that you'd help us to be part of that, Lord. That group of joyful worshipers giving thanks to the Lord, making a joyful noise unto the Lord. We'll give you the glory for what you do for us in Jesus' name. Amen.